stomach is colorless, tasteless, and odorless. You can't see it. It builds up in your body over time. It's a very insidious poison to have. It's a little bit expensive to detect. Even here, you have to know to look for it, and then you have to send off a sample to get something. So there are groups that don't even, people don't even know that they have arsenic in their water, much less how to treat it. really focus on arsenic because there are actually a lot of aquifers that are pristine except for arsenic. They only have arsenic in them. So we can do arsenic really well. We can access those aquifers. Our customers, and particularly in the Central Valley, you only have wells with arsenic in them. And those arsenic concentrations range from 20 parts per billion to 200 parts per billion, even to a part per million sometimes. And you have to treat it. There's no other well you can go to. So what we envision is installing an arsenic vault unit above that well. So you pump the water out of the well. You move it through the arsenic vault system. It sits in a really large tank for 10-15 minutes. While it's in the tank, it is exposed to a highly oxidizing environment. This means we're applying electric current to basic iron plates in the tank. Those iron plates are now going to actively corrode. They're going to rust. And it is that rust, that iron, that we put into the water which catches the arsenic in the water, makes it big and easy to remove and then produces just clean water on the side. So we have two streams coming out of our tank. One is the clean water, one is the rusty arsenic mix, a slurry of sorts, which is ultimately what we need to deal with when we talk about removing our waste product. It is that iron arsenic sludge. When you take arsenic out of water, you have to put it somewhere. So you end up with this arsenic-laden waste. Um, we can do a standard test in the US, it's called the TCLP test, that says that it's okay to put in a landfill um, and it won't leach out into the environment in toxic levels. So in the US, we could actually put it into a landfill. What we're doing is we're taking something that's very diffuse and we're making it very concentrated sure. and we're putting that in a special place. And we're saying, listen, it's very well controlled. Right now, it's, it's leaking, it's seeping, it's in your water, it's in your food. We're going to take it from a very diverse location and put it in a very specific location and we're going to manage it safely.